Hello, this is Keith with the Georgetown County School District, and today I'm going to show you how to make Google Slides cool. So just putting different things in there rather than just words or just rectangles or square pictures. Here's some different things that you can do to jazz up your Google Slides. So the first one I've done is I've just put a Bitmoji in here and just uh, added it to my screen. Um, but I'm going to go to the second screen. And what I'm going to do is I want to animate what is going to be happening here. So if I, if I want to go to my slideshow, you see that I was, there's nothing on here and these are just sitting there. So let me escape and I'm going to go back up now. And I'm going to click on this particular set of words or this text here and I'm going to click animate. And over here I can say what I want it to do. Let's have it zoom in on the click. And then let's see, let's go to this one. Let's add an animation. Let's go back to here and take that one out. Let's add an animation. Let's see what it looks like when I, when I click now. So now that comes in just like that. All right, stop. And I can do the same thing with this one. If I want to add an animation here and make it fade in on the click, and if I want to then add another animation, go down here to this one and add another animation. And I'm going to, instead of that, I'm going to have it fly in from the top. And now if I play those on my presentation, when I click, I got the zoom, I got the fade in, and I got the fly in from the top. So those are animations of words. And you can do the same thing with pictures as well. All right, the next thing I'm going to go to over here, let me hit stop this one. I'm going to go over here and adding audio files. Now there's three different things that I use. Mostly I use Vocaroo. So I'm going to click on the Vocaroo. I actually have it saved up here. And when I click on Vocaroo, it's really, really simple. All I have to do is click on this button here. And then I'm ready to record. Hello, today is March 21 in the year 2022. I'm going to do a stop and it says save and share. I'll do it here and I'm going to click download and you'll see that it will download down here on my computer. If I click show in my folder, you'll see it there. I'm going to just sort of slide it over to my desktop and from here it's best if you want to put it into your Google. So I'm going to go over here to my Google Drive. And I have a folder already created for that. And I believe, let's see if I can find it very quickly up here. It's called uh, Vocaroo. All right. And it's right here. I'm going to open that up. And I've got several things in there already. And I'm going to just take this one and drag it in. And it's called, let me just rename it first. Let's call this one, I'm going to name it Triple A Record. And now that'll make it easier for me to find when I go in. And it's uploading. And now it's in uh, to my Triple A. It'll be in here and showing you up as Triple A Record in just a minute or two. Then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my slide presentation. And if I wanted to add a message here, I'm going to take this one off because, let me go back. I'm going to take that one off because I don't want to use that one right now. Get rid of it. I'm going to now insert, as this says, create a file, download it, put it into a folder in Google Drive, move it to your Google Drive folder, to your desktop, whatever you want to do. insert. So I'm going to go insert and I'm going to go audio. And then it, I'm going to choose recent and it may take a minute for it to load up here. That's why I wanted to go back, but there it is right there. So if I click on it and then click insert or select, it will put it here. Now, what is cool is it gives you these options. If you want it to, to turn, um, let me see, I'm going to say share with the same people. Um, if you want to, once you've got this going on over here on the click or it can start playing automatically or you can loop it, or you can stop it on the slide chain. So you have all those options. Those are options. Now I'm going to show you these other two. I'm going to close Vocaroo, 
and I'm going to show you uh, the other two. I've got uh, online, uh, which is called Apps 1, 2, 3. Right there, you can do the same thing. Click. Today, I'm going to record on 1, 2, 3 Apps. And then I've got a lot of downtime, and I can just stop it here. Now, this one allows you, if you've got a lot of downtime, or you want to trim it, you can move this in, you can move this in, and it will save just what you want to save. If I do save, it's going to put a download down here again. I'm going to click off of that one, and I'm going to go to the last one that I have on the, the thing, and it's called Twisted Wave. So it's just press here, and it's loading, and now you'll see my voice mail or my voice pattern uh, going across there as I do, and then I can hit stop, and then I can hit up here. Instead of saying download, you click export, and then download, and it will put it back in the same place. And you also have the ability to trim this one as well. And you also have a couple other features. You can have it fade in or fade out. So different ones, you can try them all, see which ones you like. All right, so I'm going out of that. I'm going back to my slides, how to make things cool. This one is about I'm going to choose this set of text, of this little bit of text. And when I do that, I can go up here to Format Options, and I can have all kind of different things going to it. I like Shop to do Drop Shadow. And if I do that, I can, you see how I've got a, now a shadow in behind it? And there's different things you can do with it over here. You can raise it, or you can angle it, or you can uh, make it a little distance away, or you can do some... Um, Blue, what's called blue radius, it just sort of makes it fuzzier looking behind there. So those things you can do, and that's how you do it right there. But now I'm going to go, because I have put on here a an audio file, and I have it playing automatically. So I'm going to go up here to the slideshow and show it from here and see what it looks like. All right, so that's that. This one is called Shape Mask, and this... Uh, is I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to add or insert an image and I'm going to search the web and I'm going to do this real quickly because I don't want this to be a really long video. I'm going to find a tree and hit and I'm going to use this picture so I'm going to insert it and I can double click or I can hit it one time and hit insert. Either way works but I'm going to have a square picture but I want to make it a little cooler looking so I'm going to make sure I've got this highlighted and all the instructions are here. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going up here to the crop tool. And right beside it is a down arrow. I'm going to click that down arrow. Choose a shape. And I'm going to choose this shape. And now it makes it an oval. I can make it circle. But I like the oval look for it. So that gives you a different way to put in pictures. Uh, this one is reflect an image. I'm also going to go up here. And I'm going to choose a tree again. So I'm going to insert a from the web image. I'm going to choose a tree again, and I'm just going to choose this one. And when it puts that in, I can reshape and what have you. But once I've got it up here, I can do my format options again. And then instead of the drop shadow, I can choose reflection. When I choose reflection, it will put a reflection of that tree. And I can make it lighter or darker. I can make it a little distance from the tree. Or I can make it a little size, increase the size of it, so you'll see a reflection of that. So you've seen some of the pictures of water or lakes with a tree reflecting in there. This way you can make your own. And then uh, transitions, I'm going to choose this uh, particular cell or this particular slide. I'm going to go transition. And on this transition, I'm going to say go to, I like this one, let's do cube. And if I do play, you'll see what it looks like when I transition from one to the other. It makes a cube and rotates it around, so it looks pretty cool. So that's a different one. And then I'm going to add a GIF. And uh, this is just a picture that moves. Now, what I think is best to do is when you are inserting, uh, I actually go up and get a brand new window. And I'll go up and I will search Google GIFs. And it will pull a lot of gifts that are from find a Giphy that went that really worked well with Google. Now this one happens to be Google stuff. So, but if I click on that and I click the share button, I'm going to copy the link, and you'll find some that work and some that don't. But I'm going back over to here, and now I'm going to do just like this says. I'm going to insert 
I'm going to insert an image. And, but this time I'm going to do it by URL or the web address. I'm going to paste it in. Whoops, excuse me. Let's try that. Let's try that differently. Whoops. Go back over here. Okay, once it loads up, you can click insert and it will put it into your Google Slide presentation. It's taking a second, but oh, there it is. You can resize it, you can move it around. And then this is embed a video. I've got one that I have saved it down here just for time's sake. I'm going to copy it. And this says to actual to insert and then go to video. And I'm going to because this came from YouTube, I'm going to paste it into here, say search and find it. Uh, there it is that I want. I'm click it, insert, and it will put that in there that you can then play on the click or you can have it start or you can choose at what point you want the video to start and what point you want it to end. So you've got those options. And then the last thing is adding voice dictation for your notes down here for speaker notes. So if you want to use that, um, you would go to tools, voice type speaker notes. I'm going to go up here to my tools. I'm going to voice type speaker notes and click. And it's going to put the microphone over here. And as I type or excuse me, as I speak, it's going to type those notes down here. So I'm going to click on it. These are the notes that I want to share for how to make your Google Slides cool. Stop. And then those will be in your trend you be in your notes when you are trying to add or trying to show a Google slide presentation. Hope all these things have helped. Hope you'll try some of them. I know this has been a little bit longer video than normal, but all of these things are cool and they are fun and hope you have enjoyed them.